Hello, my name is Regina Helcher Yost, and I play second flute and piccolo in the Charleston Symphony Orchestra. Today I want to talk to you about how to care or maintain your flute and your piccolo. Uh, the first thing I would say that's very important is when you're not playing your instrument, store it in your case. Um, many times people practice and then lay it down on a table or a chair and then another family member or a friend accidentally sits on the chair or knocks it off a table and then it becomes damaged. So it's very important that every time you're not playing your instrument you store it properly in its case. And when you're done playing, make sure that you swab it out because condensation is not very good for your instrument. It's not good for keeping it clean. And on the piccolo, it's really not good because you don't want the wood to remain wet. Now, what type of swab do I recommend? I would recommend a swab that is um, soft and clean. <laughs> Uh, I like to use, this is a brand new piccolo swab. I like to use ones that are made out of silk. You can easily get them at any um, flute specialized shop around the country. Um, or you can order them online. They're very soft and um, they won't harm the inside of your instrument. Um, the other thing is it's important to store your instrument in a location that is not hot or cold. It needs to be just a normal temperature because um, different temperatures can affect um, your pads and make them not seal properly and also um, if you have a wooden piccolo, um, can really affect the piccolo in very bad ways. Um, it could make it crack, which would be damage that's not really repairable. Um, so make sure it's kept in a very um, uh, good temperature location. Um, the other thing is once a year, you should send your flute or piccolo to a reputable um, flute or piccolo uh, repairman or repair woman. <laughs> um, maybe you're lucky enough to have one in your town. If you're not, then you should ship it. Definitely once a year. Now, what do you want from them once a year? You want to get what's called a clean oil and adjustment, or in the flute world, we call it a COA. They're kind of expensive. You're gonna wanna save your money for it, but it will make your flute or and piccolo in perfect condition so that it will last throughout the year. And um, it's also important to ship that instrument if you're shipping it somewhere, like I ship my instrument all the way to Philadelphia. Um, I use the same repairmen that the Philadelphia Orchestra uses. Um, and you want to ship it in a in a box that is gonna really, really um, keep it safe. Now, in the flute world, you can buy from a reputable repairman what's called a flute box. I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It's a flute box. It has fragile handle with care. It also has fabulous padding on the inside and a place to put the flute case. So it fits perfectly. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and then I would also recommend if you're shipping it to insure it. Um, if you have insurance on your instrument already, you're not gonna have to worry about that. But, um, but if you don't, you're gonna wanna insure it when you ship it because you certainly wouldn't want it to get lost or damaged um, and not have the money to buy a new one. So I hope that this has been very helpful for you today. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me. Have a great day.